hold it like this as I go in. Okay. Where's my jacker? I gotta tell you. Yeah, it's pretty horrible. Uh, look, look, this is the first time in history somebody has. Fellas, the engine is in the van. This is a huge day. All right, so this was not easy. It was really irritating to get this engine in. Now, remember when I took the engine out, it was a 240, which is the same basic overall size. Um, but it didn't have a head on it or valve cover. And uh, so when I lifted it out, it was a lot easier. So I have a few pointers for you what not to do. All right, forget about putting the transmission in like I did. I had the transmission in place. It was all in the way. Terrible. Number two, forget about putting the flex plate on. It's just another thing in your way. And this plate here got bent trying to put the engine in that's a shame i think i can bend it back into place though number three make sure that your cherry picker is extended as far as it'll go and if you if you can don't even use a load balancer because it's a lot of space from here to to here and then even further from the chain and you're going to need that space so if you the, the higher up even if it's just like say if i could eliminate a couple of links or whatever that would be great because what was happening is the load balancer was getting caught under the dash there's not enough space for that also, if you must use a load balancer, make sure that this handle is toward the back of the engine because this was getting in the way of the dash. Let me tell you guys, it was super irritating. We just had to stop the video, get down to business, and uh, it finally fell into place. All right, tip number four. Originally, these trucks, that, like the engine like this would have came out of, had the um, oil filter just sticking straight out. And as you can tell, this is hitting really bad. I don't know if I can even save this oil filter now. I didn't realize it until after uh, the engine fell into place. Um, but there's a solution to that. This is the solution. Uh, an adapter and I'm assuming I'm going to need a gasket for this and then the oil filter will will be vertical I'm going to switch gears a little bit and talk about painting these exhaust manifolds I'm going to use the super high heat primer and paint from Rust-Oleum. There is a specific bunch of steps that you have to take. And once I throw on this primer here, I'll show you those steps. So after the first coat, you'll come back and do two light coats a few minutes apart. 
All right, as promised, here are the steps. Put on the primer, which we just did. I am right now in the one hour waiting period before I can paint the silver. After I paint the silver, unfortunately, I have to wait three hours for that to dry before I put it in the oven at 250 for 30 minutes, cool 30 minutes, bake at 430 minutes, cool 30 minutes, and then all the way up to 600 degrees, 30 minutes, and then cool 30 minutes. And then I should have a, a very heat tolerant uh, part that shouldn't peel or fade away, burn off, but we will see. Subscribe to the channel and we will soon see how durable this paint is. I really didn't expect to be in the kitchen again. Last time we were heating up a crank gear so that it would expand and we could put it on the cam and, and, uh, and crank. But now we're baking some exhaust manifolds. We've got the oven preheated to 250. We're going to put it in for 30 minutes. All right, it's in. Now we've got a major commercial fan right here. We're going to have to evacuate this area. All right, we're at the 30 minute cool down stage. So in a few minutes, I'll preheat this oven back up to 400 this time. All right, and we go 400 for 30 more minutes. So just a tip here, when you're taking the part out of the oven with whatever oven mitt or whatever, sure that you just kind of hold it in a inconspicuous spot I kind of made a mark on it with the oven mitt the last step calls for 600 degrees but I've never seen an oven that goes to 600 degrees unless it was a maybe a gas grill or something but I'm gonna put this in for 30 minutes as high as my oven will go And then we'll be done. Okay, we made it it's safe out in the garage paint looks good it's just a matter of knowing how long it's gonna last once it gets hot it looks like I'm going to have to trim a little bit I wish I'd have placed this before but right here it's hitting I should have done this before I painted but I'm gonna have to grind that nib right there off of here that's gotta go all right i somewhat cut that nib not all the way down let's see if it's enough um after i did that i discovered another problem mating the fuel injection exhaust manifolds to the carburetor intake over here 
we've got this that's hitting right here. Everywhere else it seems to be clear, but here we've got a hit. All right. All right, so there will be more on the next video. I'll try to find a plug for that. The solution for this problem. And we'll just continue on. Thank you everybody for all your comments and support all through this. We're getting closer and closer every week to firing it up. Take care everybody. Have a good week.